the thing, the, the thing right now is one billion people on the planet are homeless. So they are not in one place. They're moving around. And these enormous shifts are very, very unsettling to people. As in every country in Europe, it's suddenly like all these other people are coming in and, in it, and, it, and it, it's quite um, overwhelming for everyone. For the ones who enter and the ones who are there, you're like, whoa, it's, it's, it's an unfamiliar situation. This will be what we need to look at because things are going to be more like this uh, blending. It is inevitable that we will start doing that kind of thing. For me, it's very exciting because I'm from New York and like many port cities, everybody comes in and you just start going like this and you go, that's the way it is, uh, you know, and for a while we just totally discriminate with people, you know, we have, our police cars are called paddy wagons. Why? Because it was from the time when all the criminals were Irish. So they're called, you know, paddy wagons. And, and then suddenly all the Irish people became mayors and, you know, the entrepreneurs and, and you know, this, it's, a, it's a real brew of things in a port. So what if the whole globe becomes a port, that would be fantastic. If you stop being so territorial and you just accept the inevitable, it's not, you cannot close your doors anymore. That's not possible. You know, they're, everyone's banging on them and you better uh, figure out what to do, you know, and see the positive thing in that. You know, see the great thing and, and also try to, you know, be not to panic because we're we're in constant panic mode like right now i can't wait to run to see my phone to see what's how many was hurricane florence uh, you know I'm, or what don trump said today why do i really care because i'm in panic i'm in media panic mode so try to see these great surges and great changes in another mode that's not panic in a mode that goes what could be good about this? What, what positive ways could we make this work? Because it is going to be like that. No question about it. You're, you cannot stop that. So try to, hey, go with the flow, you know. Uh, find a really good way to ride that, you know, and, and feel good about it. Because fighting is, is a disaster and being angry is a disaster. So as an artist, as a person, I try, if I feel like that, to move it to another part of my mind. It's an exercise I try to do and just put it over there and not act out of that.